All right. Can you hold my hand? Can I hold your hand? What am I holding your hand for? Both hands. Both hands? <laughs> All right. Good morning, Powerful Parent Club. Ah. What are you doing? Yeah. Ruthie, Ruthie has her ballet gear on today. All right? Are you excited? And she did her nails. So there's a lot of excitement today. And toenails, too. Whoa. It's kind of tough to get your legs in that position. Uh, we are super, super excited to have Claudia from Chase Fitness joining us today. So uh, if you guys don't know Claudia or Chase Fitness, you got to check them out. Uh, she is amazing. She has uh, an incredible uh, professional ballet experience around the world, around the globe, uh, which is really cool. Right, Ruthie? Yeah. It's super cool. Maybe one day, maybe one day you'll get to do that. What do you think? Um, and besides that, she's a, a Pilates instructor uh, and, and uh, you know, certified in teaching and has developed this amazing new method of, uh, of Pilates, which is totally different than anything I had ever seen before. And uh, I think is really, really cool and interesting and definitely worth checking out. And I know times are a little bit different right now. So while the studio might not be closed, they're offering up some uh, you know, great other programming, either digital and I think they're opening up some uh, some outs outdoors activities as well pretty soon. So I'll let her fill you in on some of that. Uh, and also super exciting, she ha also has a young, uh, a four month old in addition to an older child. So uh, so she gets it, she's a mom. Uh, and you know, you when you combine those experiences of being a really great fitness instructor and Pilates instructor and ballet experience all together with being a parent, you, you uh, a lot of power comes out of that. And uh, and so we're gonna, we're excited to bring her on. So. I'm gonna, without further ado, I'll, I'll pull Claudia on. Uh, and if you are here, say hi, give us a shout out. Uh, and you know what, actually, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll get warmed up. So Ruthie, do you wanna, do you wanna ru run around for a second and get warmed up, your ballet warm ups? All right, so actually, no, we're gonna, we'll give it two more seconds. We're gonna just warm up, get our legs moving. All right, so we gotta loosen up just a little bit. So if you're at home, try to get you gotta get the blood pumping a little bit. Try to get me. All right, try to get you. All right, here we go. I'm gonna catch her. Woo. Make sure you got enough space. If you haven't already, grab a towel. We are gonna be using that in today's session. Stop. So, stop. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna bring Claudia on. Claudia. Welcome to the Powerful Parent Club. Now I'm trying to keep getting me. <laughs> now I'm trying to keep getting you. All right. Hi, can you hear us? Oh, I have you muted. My that's my fault. Sorry. No, I got muted. <laughs> oh my goodness, Ruthie, who do you have there? Mabel's excited to be here too. Say hi. Yeah. Mabel. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> awesome. Well, we were really excited to get moving with you today. This is really, really like a, a treat. We're right? excited to be here as well. Awesome. Moving. Oh, yes, Levi. We're live streaming. You want to say hi? This is Amelia. <laughs> Oh my goodness, hi. <laughs> you want to no. We love your dress. Thanks. You like her dress, Ruthie? Wait, it even has shorts. She's very oh. excited about shorts. <laughs> shorts and a dress, that's really smart. Definitely. All right, shall we do some please? I'm going to put Mabel down and see if we can get it going. You ready? Yeah. You ready to do some ballet? What do you think? There we go. All right, so you're going to grab a towel if you have one. So we're going to use this for some resistance. Normally, right, really? grab the towel. Yeah. Why don't you ask Daddy, sweetheart? I didn't. So take your moment, band. You're... It was taking 50 moments. 50 moments. That's a long moment. So you want to <laughs> Hold on, towel. Here we go. The core is engaged. You're going to plug the shoulders back. And we're going to start with doing some plies. Reach your arms over overhead. Face deep plies. And push through the heels, squeeze your glutes, lift it back to the top. Keep resisting the bands, follow the bands out. And nice deep play. And bring it back up. Okay, we'll do two more this way, and then we're gonna reverse it. You can call me out on form. I've never done really done ballet work, so. On the side view, so it's different than a squat where you stick your butt out. You actually want to try to swirl it back over your hips and keep pulling that towel. So see how you're pushing forward. Take your toes in, play this, and upright yourself a little more. Yes, exactly. And then pull it all the way up and arms lift high. Really good. Deep plie. Good job. Excellent. And bring it back up. Think of Really, we're getting professional ballet instruction right now. <laughs> yes, you want to think about wrapping the glutes Mommy, over the hips. Her cake. That's okay, honey, one. 
Good, and last one. Nice. So now from here, you reverse that. Take your arms up as you stand tall. And now as you lower down, keep pulling the towel apart and bend down. Good. Yep. And we'll do two more, and then we'll do some heel lifts. And up. Last one. This time, hold your DPA, and you're going to lift your right heel up and down, left heel up, and down, keep the towel apart. Yep. Nice. See if you can add an elbow bend. So you're going to pull your elbows into the Superman and extend forward. Amelia, what's that kind of? I think we're all trying to say, uh, oh, I want to hug. Squeeze the shoulder with the back. Good. Pull it wide. Extend. Good. Pull it oh, wide. my hair. Extend. Two more. Good. And last one. Reach front and come all the way up and roll. That's a pretty hard one because you have to bring your elbows nice and high as you pull the elbows wide. Feel the shoulder blades run boys at the back activate and then we'll keep the tension as you reach forward. Yep. You feel how the core activates. Here, it's a real here. If you if folks at home, if you don't have a towel or your kids are stealing your towel from you, we're keeping it real. So you just pretend, right? We do we do our best. Extend your arms long and then keep keep reaching through your fingertips and you can create that same resistance in your body. Hey. Are you my towels? <laughs> All right, Ruthie is stealing my towels. No problem. So we're going to do some lunges. You don't need your towel for this. You can take your hands to your hips. I'll use the towel. You can face, you can face either direction. We're going to step into a reverse lunge. And then step forward. Nice and simple. So I like to use the towel because it helps me with my balance. Because it helps activate my transverse deep abdominals. Step in front. Yeah. Good. So from the side view, I'm going into that 99 right. angle. Yeah. My knee is over my ankle, not over my toes. And my back knee is bent to a 90 degree angle. Yeah. And step in front. Okay, we'll do two more. Yeah, front. So I do 8 to 16 of these, but you'll feel when your legs start to burn as your body starts to heat up as well. Yeah, that's when you're going to hold it here. Just okay. pulse it, small range. Little pulse. Go 8, 7, 6. Keep walking yeah, to the front of the door. Squeeze my back for four, three, two, one. Man, who's going to pull my hair out? Good, stand it up and last for a Ow. Ow. You know, let go, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do the other side, and then we'll take it into a little curtsy so you get the little ballet aspect of this. Awesome. So, to step back and step it in. Step back and step it in. Good. So if you don't have, if you have a baby, you can do this with a baby. <laughs> Love it. So if you have nights of bouncing. Just make sure your baby's centered on your body. It's super important. You can please. Do you feel like they're getting something functional for yourself as well? You know what? Babies are the best resistance uh, equipment you can get, right? <laughs> Good. The last one you're going to hold in here. So from the side of you, hold your lunge. And then I really wish I could so pulse down. So I just try to make sure that I keep her centered on my core. Mm. And yeah. the shoulders down and back. It's really easy to kind of round forward. Do some yep. here. And folks, we always we always modify if this is something that at home you don't feel comfortable with, and you got to do what feels good for you, right? So if it's uh, adding in the extra weight, especially like early after childbirth, is, is can be tough, and we got to we got to work on building up to some of that sometimes. So Claudia has a, a really high fitness level, so she makes it look easy. Well, I I've been uh, working since I was six weeks, just a little bit every day, and making yeah. stuff every day. That's awesome. It's like, it, it's so good. So we can take this into a little curtsy. So I'm going to use Mabel. But if you have the band, you can reach it forward, keep it tight. So okay. Take your lunge position. Dig that front leg into the ground, and you're just going to overcross that back leg. Try to keep your pelvis still. Just think inner thigh squeeze, and then come back to center. You can also go hands to the hips if you feel like balance is an issue. Toss that. Yep. Go cross and lunge. You'll feel that front quad and glute fire on. Yes. And there'll be a slight lift as you go up and down. Weight is really in that front leg. Yeah. You don't need to do a lot of these to feel them. Nope. <laughs> you throw a baby into the mix, right? It gets a little extra. <laughs> and last one. Good. My right leg is burning. You got to do the other side. 
the nice yeah. thing is that it gives a natural little bounce. Mabel, yep. Mabel likes that. <laughs> <laughs> Mabel's a champion right now. It's awesome. All right, so we're going to take it into your nice deep lunge. And then stay nice and low. Cross back. And back to your lunge. And cross. So really trying to keep the pelvis as still as possible. It's really just inner thighs cross. And lunge. Cross by around quad and glute on that front leg. Yeah, Jason, you look so balletic. <laughs> <laughs> I do my best, right? It's all we can do. All we can do. I gotta be better at it, right? If my daughter's really excited about ballet, I gotta be able to keep up. Yeah, you gotta be able to partner her. Yeah. <laughs> and last one. Yeah. Awesome. But yeah, the functional movement component of all this is just so, so huge. And if you can do that with a baby on hand, imagine like the normal parenting tasks are breeze, right? It's a piece of cake to, maybe not a piece of cake, but it's much easier because you have that functional strength and ability to move and bend and uh, and lunge and get into those difficult positions. So it's awesome. You can hold a stroller and a baby and open the door at the same time. <laughs> you need that balance. I do a lot. I, my, my soccer background allows me to have a little bit you know, more of that balance and use my feet for a lot of activities, which I feel like I wouldn't have had otherwise. Which uh, So you got to use what you have to, to find some of that help and that movement. It's awesome. Yeah, the ability is awesome. Yeah. So I also like to do some stuff like kneeling on the ground. And that's cool. actually great because I can put Mabel down and she actually quite enjoys it quite a bit. Pretty good. So we can do quadruped. So I'm going to come up to the knees. So I'm going to tuck my toes. Oh, I don't know if you can see me here. That's all right. We're going to open up the screen a little wider, too. I can go sideways. Here we go. Hi, bunny man. Tuck the toes, hover the knees up. And this is a great way to work up to a nice, strong plank position. And if you have an older child, they can run underneath you or crawl underneath you while you're holding Can you get under me? Can you get under me? I don't think so. Bridge is closing. And then you can release it as you know, as you feel like you start to shake. Drop the knees for a second. Yep. Give your baby a kiss. <laughs> I love I love the push up kisses, plank kisses. Oh. This is always really fun. This is you were getting to that dance crawl movement that I that I like a lot. The folks who've kind of shown up a bunch of these, they, they know I like the bear crawl. Yeah, I love the bear crawl. So that so what you can what I love to do, you can do this in your socks or if you have the towel. You can just like yeah. place, and place it underneath one or two feet. I start with one just because I was still working out my core to the strength I had before I had the baby. Yep. So by placing the towel or sock or having your socks on, you have less resistance. So I'm yep. sliding. I, I started working on one leg to begin. So going into kind of like a modified plane. If this is yep. too much for anyone who is like diastasis or still working up their core, you can always drop that front knee and just work on sliding. Lifting the core up. Hi, honey, honey. Hi. And then as you get st stronger, you can alternate it. So going one leg at a time, sliding out. And eventually, two legs. So that's great, great for shoulder stability, also. <laughs> we know we all need that extra strength for our, through our shoulders for all the lifting and carrying we do as parents. It's huge. Definitely, yeah. definitely need that upper body strength. Bring your back and neck. Oh yeah, Ruthie's gotten into reading right now. We'll see. <laughs> Very cute. We do our we do our best, right? I know it's a, the goal as parents, especially the goal of this this project that we're doing, is just figuring out how can we get creative with our kids uh, when they're around all the time. How do we get movement? How do we build that into our day? And if we can do that, then uh, even just a few minutes a day, then that's a success, right? You start small and then build up. Absolutely, it just the consistency is so important. So the one the one kind of positive about being quarantined at home is. All these uh, the online workouts we started doing, we do Zoom classes every day. And you know, I got to be able to tune in and work at my own pace because I'm in the privacy of my own home and I actually yeah. feel 
consistency of even just doing 10 minutes a day to start and then working up to like 30, 40, 45, 55 minutes. Yeah. In two months, I already feel a huge change in my body. So yeah, that's uh, given me a lot of freedom. <laughs> <laughs> We all, we all need that. And if you can do it with the kids, it's bonding time at the same time that you're getting you know, active, active lifestyle uh, thrown in. So that's double, double bonus, uh, which is, which is great. Double bonus. Awesome. You got another, another exercise or you're feeling pretty good? Yeah, I would, uh, sure. If I can try to do some flat back abs, I'll put Mabel on the floor. If, she, if she'll go with me. Or she'll have to go with me. So normally I'll take my towel overhead. Like, oh, just, I have a kitchen towel. So about shoulders distance apart, and I'll reach it over my fifth. Mabel will come next to me. Hi, everybody. So reaching overhead, pull it wide and tight so you feel your core engaged. Lift your, you can lift your legs to tabletop to begin nod, and then curl up and down. If this is too much, again, if you're still strengthening your core, you can always leave your feet on the floor. But by having this resistance, it really enables you to focus on connecting into your midline, into your deep abdominals, not just rectus, as you do your curl ups. Nod your chin, curl, reach. And then you want your towel to float right over your knees and right back over your shoulders. It's a nice simple way to get into the core there. That's great. And then you can drop both feet and then you can alternate legs. So curling up one leg at a time and down. Yeah. Pull that towel tight, 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 tight. And again, you can feel how you can really imprint your spine and low back into the floor before you move. So split second before you move, imprint that low back curl. Mabel likes this because she sees that towel moving and my feet moving. <laughs> Suddenly she's really quiet, which is amazing. <laughs> and yeah. If you haven't had a four-month old around for a while, then you, you maybe don't realize how impressive that is <laughs> or amazing. And there are lots of ways to build this up. So you can always, you know, add challenge by either bringing both feet up off the floor to tabletop and extending into a diagonal to make it even harder. And then lowering the legs to make it a little harder or lifting to make it a little easier. Lots of ways to modify. I like to work on my bicycles here. So I curl up and alternate one leg at a time, extending, trying to maintain the isometric contraction of my core. And I, I, love it. I really like having the towel. It really helps stabilize me. And then if this is too much, you can also keep one foot on the floor, alternating the leg extension. This is also a really good challenge. This is how I started before, even with my head on the floor, when I was really not feeling my core after being only a few weeks postpartum. Yep. And that is like a really great exercise to help focus on just feeling the abdominals. Yeah. And eventually this could go into a bicycle feeling the obliques activate trying to stabilize the hips just allowing the shoulder girdle to rotate so that's kind of how you can build it up it's great and then my la last one which is hard but fun you reach your arms overhead the same position extend both legs overhead you lower the arms to an angle lower the legs to a little angle Lift the legs back up, lift the arms back up. Repeat, arms two inches, legs two inches. Legs return, arms return. A little bit of a crane work as well. You go arms, legs, legs, arms. If this is a little bit much for your low abs, you can always bend your knees. So just extend the legs slightly, bring them in. Still a challenge. Yeah. Arms, legs legs, arms. Last one, arms, leg extension, leg return, arms return, and rest. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that's, that's uh, one of my favorites. That is that is great. I really really appreciate you sharing all that that with us. Uh, I know some of this stuff can is super super powerful, especially if parents are building this into their routines uh, at home or finding the time to kind of understand how to progress some of these exercises and activities. It just it can make a world of difference and and help people avoid unnecessary pain and injury uh, if they're 
being proactive and preventative and preparing in that way. So thank you, thank you so much for sharing uh, sharing that with us and sharing some movement. Uh, folks, if you, um, you know, we'll have the description in the description, the link to Chase Fitness, uh, so you guys can learn more and find what she's doing, what Claudia's doing, because it's really great. So uh, feel free, uh, you know, share, share the video. We'll have it, uh, we'll have it uh, on YouTube also for your non-Facebook folks. Uh, and thank you again for, for coming on. You're Appreciate welcome. It. Definitely check it out. We'll be doing some outdoor classes in the yeah. park coming soon. And uh, I wanna we'll be back in the studio in the next few weeks. Awesome. All right. We're, lo we're looking forward to that. You want to push the button? All right. Ruthie's going to push the button to say goodbye because she likes she likes doing that. Do you want to hit that button right there? All right. You see where it says end broadcast? <laughs> the most exciting part, the red button. We push it. Push the button. This is a motor control, right? All right. Hit that next red button. Got it. <laughs>